All right, this is the Victorinox Tinker, <clears throat> Swiss Army Knife Tinker, whatever you want to call it. This is my, this was my first favorite Victorinox. Always have a special place in my heart. I keep one of these all over the place, in my backpack, on my desk, in my car, there, here, everywhere, because it's just such a good set of tools that you can use for so many different things. In such a slim package. On this one, I've added a pocket clip, uh, aftermarket. I forget the brand name. You can look it up. Just look up Swiss Army Knife pocket clip, and you'll find that it screws into the eyelet. So you can't use the uh, lanyard if you use this, <clears throat> um, which is fine. And it needs a lanyard eyelet, too. It won't work on every Swiss Army Knife. But, uh... I only put a lanyard on my new favorite Swiss Army knife, the Compact, which is uh, not new. It's actually old and discontinued. I had to find one on eBay. I'll do a review on that one at some point in the future. That one is, it's 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 really good. Um, because I've I've started to carry other things that have screwdrivers, like a pry bar with like a. Phillips on it, or this or that, or a bigger multi-tool, um, but this, this was my catalyst to getting into multi-tools right here, so all right, let's go into the tools, firstly, <clears throat> a, uh, you know, can opener with a little Phillips, or flathead on the, on the tip there, um, bottle opener grant i didn't really use the can opener that much but i have used it um you know it's whatever bottle opener on the other hand definitely used more often and also because of the bigger screwdriver i've used the smaller screwdriver on the can opener but uh this this bad boy comes out a lot more often and it has a half stop as you can see it's kind of halfway stopped so you can get a little more torque if you really need it but i wouldn't really tor put too much torque on any of these tools to be honest um i don't know i just don't like the feeling of like my handles bending uh then we got the screwdriver the way this is positioned you can really torque on it better than the other tools but still i wouldn't really give it all give it your all um you know I don't, I think it's a number two. I don't know if it says Phillips screwdriver half. I don't, I don't know. I'm reading off the Victorinox website. And then this is technically a reamer punch and sewing all. Rarely, rarely use this thing. Um, I think I've used it to, like, poke a hole in a belt. Uh, actually, I've used it to, like, scrape some stuff, too, but... Now that I think about it, but it's really not that useful. Um, it's okay. Eh, I guess it's pretty useful. And they got the small blade. Usually don't really use this thing. Keep it... Pretty much razor sharp for when I really need it. I'm gonna fucking cut myself if I do that. Um, and then the big old Victorinox normal blade doesn't really need explanation, but great, great blade. And this thing, the pocket clip fits perfectly in my hand with the blade. Uh, so depending on the tool, like this way, it actually uh, it fits pretty well too. Um, but this way it's not actually it's really not the, yeah okay so i knew there was a, a a position that was less comfortable because of the clip but i mean i don't use the screwdriver or the, all that much all all that much <laughs> but um oh yeah and then obviously the toothpick and tweezers the tweezers you can't get out because of this really unless you have a long long fingernails but that's you can use the toothpick to get the tweezers out 
So that, you know, is what it is. Um, now about this clip, I like it, but that lip there, uh, it, the gap, you know, that, that gap right there is smaller than it needs to be. Um, because it's a bitch to pull this over your jeans. I'll just tell you that straight up. Uh, it can be done, and when it's in there, it's not coming out because it's just super tight. Like the, you know, the little lip on the top of your jeans will go up in here, and then it'll really be squeezed in here. I mean, you know, sweatpants or anything like that, it's not a big deal, but on certain pants, it's nearly impossible, if not impossible, to you know, overcome this hump without bending it. Uh, I've been scared that I was going to bend it out and just didn't wear or carry it. And I've been kind of thinking of taking this thing off, but I'll just get more Swiss Army knives. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much else to say. You know, it's just a pretty basic Swiss Army knife to tinker. But, I mean, they say 12 tools because the key ring is like a tool and whatever. But, you know, however many tools you decide are in this thing, there's a lot. A lot for a small package. I mean, this thing is literally the size of, like, my middle finger. Like, you know, maybe a tad bit longer maybe a little wider not really like thing is super compact and just the fact that you have a bottle opener a few different screwdrivers and some blades that just that's all i really need on a day-to-day -day basis and then the can opener and the all and you know, whatever, the toothpick and the tweezers, they're nice little additions, but this thing's just great. 23 bucks, I think it is. Twenty three ninety nine on Victorinox's website. I mean, you just can't beat it. It's so cheap. For under 30 bucks, you're getting a really great tool that's going to last you a long time with exceptional functionality. I mean, you know, the... Just like the weight to function ratio has got to be really good on this thing but anyway um this has been my review of the victorinox tinker please leave any comments questions or anything like that below like the video if you enjoyed it share subscribe the whole nine um thank you and hope to see you on the next one Bye bye